My name is Antonio Spina and I'm the team leader of uh, Crike Spike, an intuitive cricothyrotomy assist device. The problem we are trying to solve is airway obstruction in the combat setting in the military. Airway obstruction is the second leading cause of preventable death in combat and combat medics fail at this procedure 33% of the time. So we set out to try to develop an intuitive and foolproof device that could solve this issue. The Crike Spike is a really simple solution. Um, it is different from a lot of other existing cricothyrotomy devices in that it directly prevents the breathing tube from entering the subcutaneous tissue or the esophagus. It allows it to go directly into the trachea every time. So first she's palpating the neck to find the cricothyroid region right under the laryngeal prominence and she makes a vertical incision to cut through the layers of skin, uh, fat and underlying tissue. Finally one horizontal punch incision through the cricothyroid membrane. Afterwards, she inserts the tip of the crike spike into the stoma that she's created, then breaks off the removable handle, and finally, she inserts a breathing tube through the crike spike tip, and then attaches a ambu bag to ventilate. Um, we can open up the chest of the simulator to see the lungs inflating when the ventilation occurs. But in addition, you can ventilate directly into the tip of the crike spike instead of using a breathing tube. And now, once again, we can see the lungs inflating on the simulator.